Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to talk about using impact to take a drum loop and use it for your own kit and then build your own custom rhythms with it. So I've got a drum loop here. Let me show you how easy it is to build a kit just using impact and that loop. So I'm going to bring impact in, just drag and drop it in. Then what I can do, I can go through this part here, and I think that's the kick there. So there's a kick here, so I'm going to grab that kick, and all I have to do is mark it and drag it and drop it. And there we are. And I can quickly rename it, so I'll call that kick. Uh, I'm going to find a hi-hat now. I think there's a hi-hat there. There's a nice hi-hat, so I'm going to grab that, bring that in. Just drag that into there. Call that hat one. There's a second hat, I think, there. There's another hat there I'm going to grab. Grab that, just literally mark them and drag and drop them. Rename the pad, hat two. Let's find a snare. Now, there's a nice one at the end here I heard earlier. Grab that snare there, pick that up. And now I have snare, my basic stuff in. Now, what I want to do then is I, I can come in and I can do things like come to that kick and I'm going to get the filter. Just pull it down a bit to lose some of that high. And let's hear the snare. The snare's nice. Now the hat's the opposite to the kick drum. I want to get some of the bottom out. So I'm going to come into the filters here and I'm going to go to a high pass. Go for a 24 dB high pass. You can hear at the moment there's quite a lot. If I take that all the way down, you hear the kick. You hear all that low end stuff in there. So. Same here. Bring that down a bit. So I now have stuff. Now I could straight away because that's on a on a, 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 an instrument track. We can mute that. Come in here, and we now have uh, a track. We can I could put that into loop mode. Uh, let's extend that out to there and we can build ourselves a nice uh, drum part. So we'll put the hi-hats in first, we'll put this in record. I've not got auto quantize on, I could put that on. I'll quantize it in a minute. So I'll just open that in, in MIDI now, and we'll just mark all that up, and we'll quantize that, put it into quantize mode. Let's just hide impact for a second. Apply that. And so what I've done there now is I've taken this loop, which originally started off as, as you can hear it here, that. Now I've rushed that, but what I could have done is I could have grabbed two bars of that hi-hat to get a bit more sort of energy in it. And so what I could also come in then and do is just open impact again, and we could find that hi-hat, and just clear that pad, and pick that up and drop it in again. We've got the ring as well now. Clear that pad too, and then pick that up and drag that in as well. You can hear now we've got the the room in there as well. Same with the snare, because that's a very short snare. But the great thing is now, because that's now in impact, we could now come to our, our mixer and we could expand impact. We could put the stereo of that uh, to stereo two. And of course then add something like a reverb of our choice in there, go to our effects, come in and just find uh, the mix verb, drop that on the snare. And we've got ourselves uh, a kit we can do. One final thing to tell you is when you actually then open it in here in the MIDI editor, you'll see it's already renaming these based upon the names of the pads within impact. So if I rename that pad to hat one and that one to hat two, it makes it much easier then when I'm doing the, the editing here in the MIDI editor to see what I'm working with. There we go. That's how to take a loop and make it your own using impact and drag and drop.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.